Hello. I have a question for you guys. Do you believe homosexuals should be put to death? I know what Leviticus says, but I also know that he without sin should throw the first stone. And the reason why I ask this is because there's a bill going forth in the parliament in Uganda with key uh, fundamentalist Christian support from, Ameri from American um, influential Christians that would make certain homosexual activities punishable by death. And I'm wondering, could it happen here? Is this what the religious right would eventually want to come to? And that scares me. Because one, when it comes to homosexuality, I mean, I still believe it's part of a broken world. It's part of a fallen world. It's part of a fallen sexuality. I do believe that I've managed to be one man and one woman. Um, but... God also meant us to be compassionate for one another, uh, to not be greedy, to not be prideful, but we're all that. And, um, and so I don't think we can just single out one sin for, uh, for death and for destruction. And so, I mean, I get my information on right-wing and conservative things from liberal blogs and liberal news sources. I get information when I want to find the truth about um, the left from, like, the Drudge Report. Um, I, sometimes I go on Fox News, although I, I don't really trust Fox News, but I, I go on the Weekly Standard, The Atlantic, conservative magazines, things like that. And um, this I got from uh, thinkprogress.org. Um, right Wing Watch. I'm uh, talking about the anti homosexuality bill. Um, like, one, if a person is HIV positive or sex with a minor or a person with a disability, he would be guilty of aggravated homosexuality and face the death penalty. Um, now, I believe that you shouldn't have sex with a minor. I believe that you shouldn't. If you're sick with AIDS, you shouldn't have sex. You shouldn't because you would pass that disease on to the person you're having sex with. Um, but there's also, if you give someone a drink, if you buy someone a drink and then have sex with them, that's aggravated homosexual homosexuality and you could face the death penalty for that. Another thing is the bill proposes up to three years of imprisonment for anyone who fails to report within 24 hours the identity of everyone they know any, who is lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender. And I've been trying to find a copy of the bill. Um, and, and if I do, I will uh, post it on here. Uh, this is just snippets. But I mean... <sighs> If that happened here, and I have a couple gay friends, uh, I don't really support the lifestyle. I mean, and, and, and I don't, I don't really, I mean, I, I, but I would not report them to the authorities. If that was the law, I would not. Because I know that you shouldn't be put in jail for this type of crime. You shouldn't be put in jail for, uh, I mean, w whether people are arguing, whether it's a sin or not, or whether it was uh, homosexuality in the Bible is talking more about cultic prostitution, or whether it's actually talking about just uh, man and man sex, woman and woman sex. But still, even if it is a sin, which I'm still struggling with, I'm still debating about what homosexuality means in the Bible, it, you shouldn't be locked up for like 17 years, and that's in the not aggregated. So I would not. And if someone would, like, if they were arrested and someone said, like, you were friends, how, you didn't report. And if I was locked in jail for three years, I'd go. I would fight the charges, say that they were unconstitutional. And maybe these laws would never come to America because of our constitution. 
But, um, I don't know. But I, I wouldn't do that. I would rather go to jail than, than, right? On a, no. If a friend of mine was having sex with 13-year-old boys, I would pray on it. It would be hard to betray a friend to the police, but I would do that. But my friend has sex has sex with a he's like in his twenties and with a, another twenty something year old man. I would not call the police on that. I would not send him to jail for that. And um, the author of the bill is Ugandan parliamentarian David Bahati, who organizes Ugandan National Prayer Breakfast and is a core member of the family. Remember, I talked about the family uh, uh, about, about a week ago. And this is not a Christian thing. I mean, you can like go and talk about how uh, prostitution, homosexuality, uh, how pornography is ruining and how it is damaging our souls. But to put them to death is just, it's pharisaical. It is pharisaical. And uh, Rick Warren uh, is refusing to condemn this bill, which had been endorsed by a Ugandan pastor. Uh, that has been welcomed by Warren's family and made appearances at, at his church. Although he says it's not my personal calling as a pastor in America to comment or interfere in the political process of other nations. And I, I can understand that. I can understand him not wanting to interfere with other nations. Then what's the family's excuse? What the, the ones who are actively involved with him. I mean, this will lead to a lot of deaths and a lot of innocent deaths. And I'm not saying, and, 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 and I mean, what would, would Jesus do this? Would Jesus sponsor this bill? That's what you have to ask. Would Jesus sponsor this bill? I don't think he would. And uh, so I hope this bill doesn't pass. And I'll pray that those who are in charge in Uganda will We'll pray and we'll follow Jesus' role and not cast the stone. I mean, Jesus was sinless, but Uganda has corruption. Like, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, several African countries. And, and you can't. You can't condemn. You can't condemn someone to death on a moral crime. When you yourself are not sinless, you can't. It goes against everything Jesus taught. So anyway, I just want to: Do you want? Do you think homosexuals should be put to death? Um, and if you do, I worry about you. Uh, I worry about your. I can't judge your heart, only God can do that, but, but I worry that you are on the wrong path. So, um, God bless, and it, God bless.